hello everyone in our last video we did a demo where we had our documents folder redirected to a network share and we redirected it to onedrive using group policy we moved data from network share to users uh, personal onedrive documents folder using sharepoint migration tool and also saw what happens to files on network share which user modifies after we move the data using sharepoint tool in this video we will achieve the same goal of uh, moving away from network share to onedrive but we will do known folder move of uh, pictures documents and downloads folders so in my case the documents folder is redirected to our network share so this is my network share where documents folder is redirected to the desktop and pictures so they are both local so they are saved in c user rd so they are locally on the machine as we did in our last video in my documents folder i have this new folder and file one under file one i have written all data so i will modify it after we move the data using sharepoint migration tool i will create another file called file 2 here so this is my share on the server where the data is getting saved under home username and documents so it's also synced here let me disconnect the network for this computer and then we will use the sharepoint migration tool and move the data here is my sharepoint migration portal and this was my last task which i ran in my last video to move the data it's already there so i will run it again if you want to know how to set up sharepoint migration tool please see my last video wherein we installed agent on a server and saw how to define the csv file to move the data so i will wait for it to finish and then proceed further while the data transfer is happening in the background using sharepoint migration tool let me show you the folder redirection group policy once again so we did this in the last video as well so it's the same one so it's my documents folder targeted to user for the move and uh, this one is selected move the contents of documents to the new location and redirect the folder back to the local user profile when policy is removed so this is targeted to user i also created a group policy for known folder move which is not targeted right now to any device so let me show you the settings here so i will go to computer configuration policies admin template onedrive so i imported the onedrive template and i have selected this setting where OneDrive sync will only happen for my organization so i've pasted this tenant id from my azure portal azure ad portal i'm selecting use onedrive files on demand and this option where i will be prompted to move to onedrive for the known folder move so the user will get a prompt to move pictures desktops and documents folder to onedrive and silently sign in users onedrive sync app with their windows credentials so when i log into windows i will silently sign into onedrive one point to note here is that this folder redirection policy is uh, user based and this one is a computer based so i will remove the user account from here and add users computer to this known folder move so our documents folder has been moved from server share to onedrive and let us go to our windows 10 machine and turn it on so it is not connected to network right now so any changes we make will not be synced to server share so i've logged on to windows 10 machine and no network is connected i will go into the file one and modify it and add the new data in it so it won't be synced to server i will create a new file called uh, file 3 and i will delete file 2. i will also copy another file here copying a file which is around 3 gig in size so it's uh, 3.7 gig and see what happens if we have large amount of data whether it affects the user log on or log off times or not So while this is getting copied let me change the policy so in the folder redirection gpu i am going to remove the user 
and under known folder move i am going to target users pc all right so that is done so the file is copied now let me turn off the machine and reconnect the network back again so now user is in office and he will connect in the office network so he has some offline files and the policy will take effect and let us see what happens now i'm logging onto the machine and let us see what happens now whether our folder redirection policy gets removed and OneDrive auto logs in and non-folder move works or not so here i am on the machine and let us check the documents folder so our documents folder is still pointing to the network share and what about onedrive so onedrive is here but let's see whether it uh, auto logs me in or not so yes it has auto log me in and it gave me the prompt to do a known folder move so let me go ahead and do a backup and it will backup everything before that let me see if the documents folder is there or not so yeah documents folder is there which we migrated using sharepoint uh, migration tool and it has my new folder and file one but doesn't have the new data which i had but let me do a sync and see what happens so it has started syncing so let us wait for some more time and see what happens so in OneDrive, my documents folder is not up to date. So it's showing only the things which migrated for SharePoint migration tool and desktop is updated, but I do not see pictures. So these are not syncing documents is still pointing to the old server share location. So let me do a reboot and see what happens. The Windows 10 machine has rebooted, but what I noticed while watching the recording that the last time when I logged on to Windows 10 and I got this message for the first time, which I clicked on start backup without seeing what it says. So it was showing here that desktop will be backed up, but documents and pictures are in red. And it says your IT admin has set a policy that prevent changes to known folders. Please remove this policy and try again. So I could only assume that would have been the folder redirection policy so we have rebooted the windows 10 machine so let's see if it has worked this time or not whether it requires a reboot for it to work so let us see that now we have rebooted and if i check my documents folder i see it's uh, local to the machine it's not showing me onedrive path the documents folder in OneDrive is still showing the data which I migrated using SharePoint migration tool but the documents here is uh, up to date and I still do not see pictures here so desktop is working so that has been moved let us check the status of OneDrive in OneDrive it shows me that you are all set it's not giving me a message to do a known folder move for documents and pictures so let us see how to fix this so i will so on my onedrive i will right click and go to settings then go to backup and click on manage backup so now we will get the same prompt again it shows that the desktop is already moved and we are getting the option for documents and pictures so earlier we did not get this option because folder redirection policy did not remove so we had to log off so we had to reboot and now the folder redirection is removed and our documents is redirected to local machine so we are getting this option now so we'll do a backup and now our folders will be backed up to onedrive so it says some files are in use and can't be backed up please close them and try again so i'm going to skip this and see the sync process so it is uploading the other files which uh, were not in use so let us see when it finishes whether we can move the other files or not onedrive uh, sync is complete so if i go in onedrive and see the documents folder 
I could see the folders have been synced back. So the file one was copied using SharePoint migration tool. Then we modified it on the user's machine offline. That has also got copied, but with the name of file one dash copy. So it did not uh, modify the existing file. File two, which we deleted is not there. File three is here, new folder is here. And this uh, install.vim 3.5 gig file is also here. Pictures is also redirected and desktop was already redirected if we check the path here it's showing the redirected path we are getting a message for this file i'm not sure what that is so i'm going to click on try again and whatever it is we can just skip it because we know this is not a valid file name So install.vim is still getting backed up. So now we know the behavior that uh, we have to remove the folder redirection policy. And first it moves all the documents back to the local machine. Then we can do a known folder move. So if you have both folder redirection and known folder move policies applied, then it will not work. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.